Hey everybody, this is Paul. Welcome back as we continue to create a binary search tree project in C++. In this video we're going to create a deconstructor for our binary search tree project. And so the deconstructor is going to be called anytime one of our binary search trees goes out of scope. And so for our case it's going to go out of scope once the program ends and so we'll go ahead and put some print statements inside of our deconstructor as well so we can see what's happening as it deallocates the memory from the binary search tree. So the first thing I want to do before we get started is I have these two functions here and both of them have a return type of node pointer. And when I created these, I should have put these in the private section. There's no reason for our main program to need to know what a node pointer is. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut both of those and I'm going to paste those into the private section. That was just kind of bothering me. So I just wanted to take care of that really quick. Now we're going to put in the prototypes that we'll need for our binary search tree deconstructor. We're going to just go ahead and do this tilde, and then we're going to do BST for binary search tree, which is the name of the class, opening and closing parentheses, and end it with a semicolon. So this is going to be called when a binary search tree object goes out of scope, and its job will just be to go ahead and make sure that we don't have any memory leaks. So whenever one of our binary search trees goes out of scope, our program will dynamically call this deconstructor. But what I really want to do is I want to go ahead and take care of the actual deleting of the nodes in the tree with a helper function. So I'm going to define the helper function in the private section here, and it's going to be a void return type. And we're just going to call it remove subtree. And we're going to pass in a node pointer that's going to indicate the starting point of the subtree that we'd like to remove. So for example, if we were to pass the root into this remove subtree function, then it should delete the root and everything below that. If we wanted to pass in a node pointer to a different section of the tree, it would delete that particular node that this pointer is pointing to and everything below it. So that's what the remove subtree is going to do. And then our deconstructor that's called when our binary search tree goes out of scope, that's just simply going to call the remove subtree function and pass in the root pointer so that it deletes the entire tree. So now that we've got these two prototypes in here, let's go ahead and define them. So here at the bottom of our binary search tree.cpp file, we're going to go ahead and define the deconstructor from the binary search tree class by saying bst colon colon tilde bst open close parentheses and then we'll do open and close curly brace and then we'll go ahead and call the remove subtree helper function in here so to do that we're just going to say remove subtree we want it to remove the root subtree which is technically the entire tree and everything below it so that's what the default deconstructor is going to do now all we have to do is just define how we want our binary search tree to remove a specific subtree. So that way later on, if we wanted to continue this project, we don't have to just delete from the root, we could delete from any node we wish. So to do that, we're just simply going to go ahead and define our remove subtree function. So to do that, we're going to give it the void return type. We're defining it from the binary search tree class and the function is named remove subtree. And we're passing in a node pointer, a pointer to the node in the tree which references the node we want to delete along with all the nodes underneath it. All we're really going to do with the remove subtree helper function is we're just going to do a post order traversal and delete all the nodes in our binary search tree. So we'll just go ahead and say if the node that we're currently looking at here, if it's not equal to null, that means we're actually pointing to a node, then we're going to go ahead and continue on with this function. Otherwise, we don't really need to do anything because there's nothing to delete. If we're not pointing to anything, then we can't really remove anything. After that check, we're just going to say, if the current node that we're looking at, if its left pointer is pointing to a node, then we're just going to recursively move down our left subtree by calling the remove subtree function and passing in the current node's left pointer. And then the next thing we're going to do for a post order traversal is we're going to move down the right subtree if possible. So to do that, we're simply just going to copy and paste this right here. So we'll copy that and we'll say, okay, if the node that we're currently looking at has a right node, then we're going to recursively continue on down that current node's right pointer. And so once we've gotten down to this point, that means we've gone as far left and as far right as we possibly can. And we're going to go ahead and delete the node right here. So we'll just go ahead and delete the node that we're currently 
pointing to. And so I know this might be a little bit confusing um, since I haven't drawn this out yet. If you guys would actually like to see me draw this out, it's actually pretty cool and it will probably make more sense. Uh, if a few of you ask me to do it, I'll go ahead and draw this out, what's happening here when I get a chance. So before we actually delete the node, we want to see what we're deleting. So we'll just go ahead and print out the key value of the current node that we're about to delete before we actually delete it. So that way we can kind of see what's happening here. And we'll do a new line here. And I guess I should probably put in some text to kind of describe what's happening here. So let me go ahead and do that real quick. So I'll say deleting the node containing key, and then we'll go ahead and print out what key we're currently looking at. And then we'll go ahead and delete that node. This should be good to go now. Let's go ahead and save this file. And I think we worked in here as well. We'll save that one. Uh, we didn't work in the main, so there's no need to save it, but just for good luck, we'll push the save button on that one too. And so now we'll go ahead and bring up the terminal here, and we'll go ahead and compile our program g++ main.cpp looks like everything went okay I'll do dot forward slash a dot out to go ahead and run the program now and so this is the program that we wrote in the previous tutorials and I'm just going to go ahead and end it here to see if it actually dynamically deletes everything so let's just go ahead and enter negative one to stop the process and there we go so now we see that all of these nodes that we had in the tree were deleted and this is actually a post order traversal and I went ahead and just double checked this to make sure everything's running right in my program and when I drew this out by hand this is the exact order I got when I did a post order traversal so it looks like everything is working correctly and like I said if you guys want to actually see what this post order traversal looks like and how it's deleting I could draw that out by hand for you guys if you guys are interested just let me know but yeah it seems like our deconstructor is working great so I'll go ahead and just stop the tutorial there have an excellent day. We'll see you guys in the next video. It's going to be awesome. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe.